So here in topic five, what we're doing is we're now dealing with the second of the three macroeconomic statistics. In the previous topic, we looked at production. Production is measured by the statistic called gross domestic product or GDP. Now we're looking at unemployment. And really the trick here is that there's a lot of very simple calculations. It's just making sure that you properly understand what you're calculating. Um, you'll see here that with these videos that there are a lot of videos and they do highlight for you what the most important statistics are. So really what's important here isn't just the definition of what it means to be employed, unemployed, although that is important. To be unemployed, you have to be out of work, but also looking for work. And so with that then said, what are the weaknesses of the way that we measure things, right? Is it underestimating or overestimating the actual phenomenon of people not working? And so then we have a very simple calculation here of what the unemployment rate is, which would be the total number of unemployed people over the total labor force. And then you would ask yourself, well, what is the total labor force? Well, the total labor force is the number of employed plus the number of unemployed. The total labor force plus the number of people that are not in the labor force equals our civilian non-institutional population. Civilian non-institutional population, right, so as you're kind of seeing here as I'm describing these things, you're going to have to be very precise about what a term is and what it actually includes and does not include. Because the civilian non-institutional population is not the same as the total population. Civilian non-institutional population takes out those who are like in a nursing home, those who are in the hospital, those who are in prison, those who are in the military. And it basically says, okay, you are a person who's legally and physically able to work. Now, how many of you actually choose to work? Because you can be not in the labor force. And if you're not in the labor force, you may still be not working, right? Just like a person who's unemployed is not working. But there's a difference of the category that they're in. And even if you are working, you may be um, not working all the hours that you want. You may be working at a job that you're not exactly trained for. You might be overqualified. So you might be employed, but there's not a really good match. And so what this, um, besides looking at things like how the unemployment rate changes over time, which is obviously important, um, we would want to know why people are unemployed, how long they're unemployed for, and we also would want to talk about when they're unemployed. Is that unemployment because of the structure of the economy, right, or is it because of the business cycle? So then we would have cyclical unemployment, which follows the business cycle. And then we could have structural unemployment. And um, um, structural unemployment as well as um, frictional unemployment, which makes up something called the natural rate of unemployment. So again, this topic is especially full of terms, so you'll want to be careful as you go over this topic of writing down each of the terms. Um, and that's primarily why there are 10 videos um, linked to this topic.